Welcome back to Fox 8 News in the morning. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, and if you want to bring the celebration into your kitchen, we have just the thing. Country chef Leanne Miller, you all know her and love her. She joins us now with an Irish stew recipe, and she is live in her kitchen for the first time, her new kitchen. Hey, yes. girl. Hey. It's beautiful. I hear you just moved. Just moved. The tile guy was here. Bless Jordan's heart. The tile guy was here yesterday trying to so get it all done good. so we could do this. It looks so good. I'm so excited to be here. And listen, if you just want to follow me on my Instagram, by the Leah way, Miller. if you don't follow yes. her, you're really missing out. Um, <laughs> so there was a question that was posed, right? That <laughs> this recipe calls for one cup of beer. Yes. So the question you asked on the gram was yes. who drank the rest of the beer? Yes, the tile guy or me? Yes, you gotta well, go vote. What's? I'll, oh, I'll it's, we don't have an answer? answer. I'll reveal the answer later in my Instagram, Christy. <laughs> okay, good. Later, good later this morning. You're I will let you well. know. A little tease there. <laughs> I, 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 um, yeah, I'm just at Leanne Miller, my name, and I have so much fun. And I think we should do a segment of the farmhouse once it's finished. That would be really fun because I've agree. got lots of great before pictures. Esplin Designs. S1 Designs are the people that help me, and they're amazing. Okay, let's do Irish okay, let's stew. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay, this is my little Amish twist on Irish stew. There's a cup of beer in this, but I've got some wonderful, I, I saved some out because I want to show you. So I like to dredge my meat. Anytime I do stew, um, anytime I do a roast, a pot roast, I dredge this in runions. Runions, I think runions are just kind of a very popular Amish country thing because I don't hear about them outside of Amish country, but it's a breading and it's a seasoned breading and it's amazing. Mm. So I have browned my meat. I put a heaping tablespoon, heaping of garlic. Now I've softened my onions. I've got my onions here, softening, softening. And then I've got a heaping tablespoon of garlic. Now I'm gonna put this on top of my meat in the crock pot because Christy, I don't have my oven yet because my oven is on back order. So I've been, that's oh, no. been another thing that's been fun on Instagram to be, you know, adventuresome with recipes. Without like you an can be, yeah, without an oven. We can do it, guys. We can do it. Oh if my God. Have, Just ask me. All you need is a microwave. Hello. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and this crock pot, this crock pot came yes. from Goodwill. Like oh, I can awesome. do this, right? Yes. Okay. So I've got. A fourth a cup of flour that I'm going to put. My mouth is watering. I made this for supper mm. last night, and it's so good. My mouth watering. So I'm just going to add this to my beef stock or beef broth. You can use beef stock or beef broth. Either one is fine. Um, and I'm going to just whisk that, whisk that together really good, and then I'm going to pour this in my crock pot. Mm. You know, um, you haven't been to Amish country for a little while, and when when things are a little more fluid, yeah. where we can travel and I'll visit, I'll be the first one at your that. house. Yes, please do. Come down and visit. We'll go to Walnut Creek Cheese together and buy all the bulk candy. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, we need a camera for that. That would be a great, great segment. Okay, there goes, yeah, really. <laughs> there goes the broth okay. and the flour. Now I'm going to put in my Guinness beer. This is just a regular Guinness beer. Oh, it's frothy nice. Oh, there's a little bit left. Oh, it. <laughs> um, and then... I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna put the lid on this. I'm not going anywhere, I just took a little step. I'm not going anywhere, it's fine. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put the lid on this. I have this on high. I've got a nice sprig of fresh thyme. Ooh. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put the lid on and then I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it in the crock pot for about an hour because I want my meat to be really tender. I do use meat tenderizer, I like that. So this is marinated for 24 hours and I've put lots of seasoning and meat tenderizer on it. Okay. I'm gonna let it go an hour and then I'm gonna put my veggies in, my carrots, my sweet potatoes, my potatoes. I'm also gonna add right now actually, this um, tomato paste. Okay. I'm gonna add that in and just use my little wire whisk and just whisk it together. Roast it, your house will smell and, amazing. Oh my gosh, and leftovers I'm sure are just as good. Oh, guess yeah. what's in Daryl's lunch bucket today? Irish stew. I wish you was in Daryl's lunch bucket. <laughs> Thank you, Leanne. All right, if I come knocking at your door, don't turn me away. I'll see you oh, later. Never. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. We're going to put the recipe on our website, fox8.com. I suggest you try it. Maybe you can make it this week.